Assalamualaikum and greeting to the doctor, sir, madam and respected other who are viewing this video. I'm Muhammad Nurajai and today I'll be presenting my research which is on the design on adaptive control system for a variable speed compressor. First thing first, I will go through the background of my research. Firstly, uh, I want to, before I explain what's my research about, today I will explain the difference between a variable speed compressor compared to a traditional refrigerator. A traditional refrigerator usually we have a fixed speed compressor and with a simple on-off controller. For a day, for our daily usage, it is sufficient. But however, the flaw we using an off uh, on-off controller is that. Uh, this, the compressor can only be either be turned off or turned on completely meaning that the temperature cannot be controlled uh, it can only either be turned on when the, temp the high temperature is reached or be turned off when the low temperature is uh, reached which will result in the temperature will fluctuate between the high, the, the high point and the low point this for normal usage is sufficient but however if you want to use the refrigerator to store temperature sensitive substance such as medicine vaccine and, uh, and blood sample this is this cannot be done because uh, the temperature need to be maintained at a constant uh, temperature without any fluctuating in order for the substance not to deteriorate and this is where the variable speed comp variable speed compressor refrigerator comes in. A variable speed compressor is simply a refrigeration system which have the compressor being able to control its operating speed by using an adaptive controller. An adaptive controller is basically a controller that has the capability to change its parameter based on the mathematical model of the refrigeration mathematical model of the refrigeration system so that is able to adapt to the change of the characteristic when either a noise or disturbance or other unknown factor are induced to the system this is important so that the system know the refrigerator current temp temperature and able and able to adjust the speed of the compressor accordingly in real time Next, I will talk about its commercialized potential. What my research is about is trying to upgrade a conventional on-off <coughs> fixed speed controller into a variable speed compressor with an adaptive controller so that any refrigerator is able to store temperature-sensitive temperature substance so that it can provide a better, a lower cost solution than uh, buying a specialized refrigerator. Uh, now I will talk about how my experiment is set up. My experiment can be, uh, my research is divided into two parts. Which is first is the development of the variable speed compressor, and secondly is the development of the adaptive controller. For the development of uh, the variable speed compressor, variable speed compressor, firstly uh, we need to remove the original fixed speed compressor from the system which means to remove the copper piping remove the the gas the the old refrigerant and replacing with the new variable speed compressor and also refilling it with the refrigerant and making sure that it's working then i will go through the development of the adaptive controller firstly the circuit is designed inside a MATLAB, uh, inside a Proteus and calculate inside MATLAB to, to run the simulation. And from the simulation, it's then it's being made into uh, actual real life testing of the circuit using an Arduino, RTD sensor and an inverter to measure, to control the variable speed refrigeration system. Now I will go through the result of my research. Firstly, here is the mathematical uh, the mathematical the mathematical modeling of 
the <coughs> the spawn uh, of the system on the on here we can see is the the relationship between the pre and frequency and on the on on this graph you can see the step response of the representation system we need to have the mathematical modeling in order for us to develop the adaptive controller from then we from the mathematical mathematical model developed we can then calculate the theorized value for the parameter of the adaptive controller here we can see the table for the we can see the table for the pi controller pd controller and pid controller here's the p gain the i gain and the k <coughs> sorry the p gain the i gain and the d gain for each type of controller the value of <coughs> the value of the parameter for each of the adaptive controller is then injected into the system to monitor its response, its step response in order to find which is the best PID combination. Here we can see the step response for the adaptive PI controller and here's the step response for the adaptive PD controller. And lastly is the step response for the adaptive PD, PID controller. Okay, now we go through the graph one by one for the step response of the adaptive PI controller we can see that there's a G, there's a G3 uh, there's a temperature fluctuating uh, in, uh, in the, the response of the system meaning that it's not the best compared to the others but, as well, but for the PD controller for the PD controller and the PID controller, both both of them have a similar have a similar performance. So in order to find out which which between the PI and or the PID controller is the better solution, I tabulate it the result between both of the adaptive controller. In here we can see that by using an adaptive PD an adaptive PD controller. It will have a settling time of 1130 seconds, a peak time of 1126 seconds, and a steady state error of 0 0.5. When compared to uh, adaptive PID controller, it has a settling time of 1080 one seconds, and a peak time of 1103 seconds, and a steady state error of 0 0.8. Okay, and lastly, I will talk about the verification for uh, for using an adaptive PD control. Sorry. And lastly, I will talk about the verification of why using an adaptive PD controller. Here we are, I, I have done two tests which involve the uh, the refrigerator performance with a 100 meter load and also the performance with a 500 millimeter load. Here is the step response for the here's the temperature of the system for both of the graph. To for easier to uh, understand, uh, for easier to I would I set up I have tabulate the result. This table shows the performance of the controller with different load. When the refrigerator has no load in it, it takes a, a settling time of. 1071 seconds and is able to maintain the temperature of between 5 Celsius to 5.3 Celsius. As for with a 500 milliliter load, the settling time is 1245 seconds and it is still able to maintain 5 to 5.3 Celsius. And lastly, the system has been tested with a 1000 1 liter uh, load. And the settling time was 1172 seconds and the system able to maintain the temperature between 5 degrees Celsius to 5.4 degrees Celsius. So as a conclusion, my research is about upgrading an existing refrigerator to add the feature of a variable of variable speed compressor and a data controller so that it able to maintain the specific temperature in order to store uh, 
temperature sensitive material and that's all for my video thank you